So uh, I'm here with Dr. Andrew, who's reviewed my Echo. Yeah, so uh, upon visual impression, it looked surprisingly normal. I mean, there was a little bit, a tiny bit of enlargement in the left ventricle, but we expect to see that in an athlete. It was nothing that was, you know, too pathological to the point where it would cause him an issue. There was slight mitral valve regurgitation, but, you know, if we took everybody here, we'd probably see 70% of us would have some mitral valve regurgitation. He had a really strong ejection fraction. In other words, his heart's pumping strong like it should. I will say, uh, based on what I saw, the chemistry is working. I know uh, you've been using Nabivolol. Yeah. I launched Nabivolol in the United States. Yeah. Thank you. You made yeah. me save my life. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I know you use Telemasart. Yes. I, it took me a year to pound the idea of Telemasart into Dr. O'Connor's head, and now he's a huge advocate of it too. With Telemasart, we're seeing benefit beyond antihypertensives. We're seeing cancer protection cancer prevention. We're seeing fat loss from telomasart. You know, so we're seeing uh, a lot from t cognitive function from telomasart. There's so much to discuss, we don't have a lot of time. So um, this is one of those Swiss Army knife compounds. So I've been using it for the last 10 years. I've been using the Bivolol for the last 10 years to offset certain things. So when I heard years ago you were doing the Bivolol, I said, I'd be really curious to see his MRI of his heart.